Today I am researching uh, some entry-level condos and there's a wide uh, range of financial obligations that come to owners with entry-level condos. The first things first is in this area, we have something called bundled golf. And that's where the golf membership comes with home ownership. And that brings along with it a lot of fees to maintain that golf and all those amenities in that community. Costly neighborhoods to live in can be anywhere from 14 to 20 some thousand dollars a year in amenity fees. Uh, but what I'm doing right now is looking for somebody who keeps sending me those and those are what they really want. Uh, they are looking for entry level condos, but affordable, as affordable as you can get. And I can tell you right now, because I'm a real estate agent in this area, nearly 25 years, that um, there's a community in Bonita called uh, the Gardens of Bonita. The Gardens of Bonita, uh, Citadel, and then there's one um, in on the Estero Fort Myers border called Osprey Cove. They all have very low fees, the lowest in the area. We can actually, in the MLS, put a ceiling. So if you have a ceiling for what you're willing to pay in a condominium fee, we can put it in there. Now, the big problem comes with people want zero. You don't get zero because you're sharing expenses with other owners, and that includes reserves for replacement of the pool parking lot, roof, painting, cleaning, etc. So you are always going to have fees in a condominium. Um, you know, basically to ballpark you, count on about $300 a month in fees, uh, give or take. And there are some, for example, like the gardens, those are less, but then you have to have your own water meter. So it, it's all sort of a wash. The long story short is these condos all operate off of a budget. And the budget is the expenses that that building or that complex generates, however it is managed. They do get estimates for services such as lawn mowing, pool maintenance, etc. But, you know, insurance is a very costly item and they insure the common area and the structures themselves, plus they're selecting uh, or collecting for reserves. So know that those three condos, uh, Citadel, the Gardens of Benita and Osprey Cove uh, would be great places to start your look if you're looking for something very fiscally responsive. Uh, responsible and to keep it as affordable as possible. You're going to be in the 280 price point with a one bedroom going upward from there. I'm sorry, that's what affordable is here in Southwest Florida. Um, if I can answer any questions for you or send you properties in those neighborhoods, let us know.